This is Rosh Hashanah with another uh, clue day. Uh, this key is called the room key. Uh, it was released uh, yesterday, June 10th. Sorry there wasn't a video. Uh, I was a bit under the weather, but here I am now. So uh, let's do a little bit of a update on the keys that are out. So we have the Abun key, the Earth key, the business card key, the art tour key and the clan key. So five keys plus this new one, which is a total of six keys are out. Uh, the Abun key and the earth key, people are still kind of seems to be, um, what is publicly shared, stuck in the same spot. You know, they're able to get to the uh, bitmap, but aren't able to figure out how to get past the chaotic field. The uh, Abun key, still haven't had a, any idea to get to figure out with the soda can clue what the passphrase is uh the clan key is still ongoing we won't know to june 15th uh who the winner is there's a couple of public clans that seem to be ahead a few others are uh, kind of in the mix but not too far ahead as of yet but this is june 10th and so we have all the way again to June 15th to figure out or find out who's going to be the winner of that particular unique key, which uh, the game makers are stated as being unique. So the only one key is going to be dispensed from there. And whether they share willing to share or not, it's totally up to, I guess you can say, the individual hunter or, or clan members when they disclose that. Uh, the business card key is ongoing. Um, they, the game makers uh, released a notification that they have re-up their business cards so there's more to pass out uh, so far and I have a link in the show notes to the th three individuals that are publicly known to have the business cards which is Eric Milser, uh, Jess Wang, or Jess Wang. I have a link in the show notes to the people. I'm sorry. I don't want to mess up people's names and give wrong information. Um, <coughs> so we talked about the bun key, the earth key, the clan key, the business card key. Okay, the first art tour key who knows with that one um but that key is still out there if you will and now let's get into this key the room key okay so as you can see um this key was released so as you can see the room key was released june 10th which was a monday um the clue itself is called contemporary space It is number the 11th key. It is called In My Room with the Chinese characters to their right, uh, I guess expressing the same thing. The art exhibit itself apparently is what this is. So it's another uh, geolocation, but um, dealing with art. It's been open for a while, May 24th through July 7th, 2019. In his place down here called a tennis space. Uh, Louis Hammond, Juan Antino Alvarez, Jess Fan, uh, Tao Hui, Bruno Zhu, Evelyn, Evelyn Tao Xing Wang, um, and is organized by Alvin Lee. I have a link to all the artists that are on this poster. Um, it's an interesting picture. It has uh, two scorpions on the bottom. Looks like a kind of an adobe esque wall here with a uh i'm not sure if it's a window or a vent in which uh you have if you think of it as an event you know ventilation here or a window there the bars so i guess it's up to interpretation kind of reminds me of just kind of a south south the style here southwestern portraits from the from the 80s per se um it's kind of washed out it almost like it almost reminds me of like certain um early uh heavy like really heavy metal bands not the hair bands but early heavy metal where it's like <laughs> a lot of a lot of screaming a lot of shredding if you will uh, it just gives me that type of a vibe the artwork if you will <clears throat> but a tennis space so this um, exhibit is located and this is the I have a link to the show notes to the um, place um, it's off a site called Art in the City 
is located in Shanghai. Um, it's hours of operation are 10.30 to uh, 6.30, closed on Mondays. But yeah, right here it says now in Shanghai. And it's just a matter of getting a clan member to Shanghai, really. So that's it. It looks like it was like a, a flyer or an announcement, if you will, for the exhibit in my room with these artists involved. Uh, for this time period, May 24th through July 7th of 2019 this year, uh, taking place in the antenna space in Shanghai. Uh, so again, it's just, it's a geo space, I guess you could say, or a geo locked or geolocation, if you will, uh, key. So someone is going to have to go to this space, at least so far as the clue is telling us and either obtain another clue or actually obtain the key itself within this space. Uh, I would say, in essence, there might be a bit of a race. Uh, there has been no hints so far on the part of the game makers that this is another unique key. I think this is great. I think it allows people to, you know, reach out there within their network, getting clan members to go out to this location. Uh, so there's going to be a bit of a coordination um or like i said i i considering how some stuff is going with the clan key again i'm thinking of like task rabbit or any of those kind of like a uh, gig economy uh one task or one job off or job off if you will uh things where you can actually maybe hire someone to go to the exhibit and look specifically for um, the key, whether conveying them information through email or whatever, or FaceTiming with somebody and be like, okay, here we are, show me the exhibit, let's start looking for some clues. Um, <laughs> which gives me the image of, um, that movie Bone Collector with Angel Jolie and Denzel, uh, Washington, which was actually a fairly good film. Um, <clears throat> uh, if you have never seen that film, it's, I think it was from like the late... 90s early aughts Denzel Washington plays a, a, a police detective who is paralyzed from the neck down and Jinjo Lee is like a rookie cop who's his eyes and ears in the field while you know transmit um, via video uh, to his little computer setup as she goes around you know different crime scenes and helps him uh, and aids him in figuring out how things are, go about um that's it so far. Um, so we're dealing with six keys out in the wild. Uh, we know we won't know for one the June fifteenth the clan key who's gonna obtain that unique key. The other ones it's, it's you know the business card key. I I can say it takes a while to get all the business cards for that one. Uh, supposedly there's about a ten in total, but you might need only six. And some of this is not completely verified to be able to unlock that particular key. The art tour key, the bone key, and the earth key. I don't know about that. You know what's going on with those ones, really. Um, <clears throat> still haven't seen the blog by Eric Milser about how you could have found the other two field agents um, for the hunted key. Um, that's pretty much it. So we have a new key. Clans are scrambling around to get somebody out to this exhibit. Um, as soon as it's been solved or declared solved, I will do an update weekly video um, updating not only about this key, but <clears throat> all the other keys as well. Um, so there's it. Um, I'm kind of, you know, feeling pretty good about this week when it comes to the game. I still, again, wish there was more um, keys released. I know that there's six, you know, six keys in total out there that haven't been solved. But I, w I would like a, pa a faster paced game with, you know, maybe there's one geolocation key, hunt, a f some kind of feat, if you will, key, uh, a couple puzzle keys to keep the can clans going at it and uh, keep, I would say, keep some momentum going with this particular uh, game. So, this has been Hiroshi Scheib. Uh, you've been watching Satoshi's Treasure Hunters. And... You've been updated. Happy Clue Day and on with the hunt.